Welcome to Can Angels Fly? I'm Nancy. And the title of this video is No More Advice. I'm making this video in kind of a response to a part of a creator's video. The creator name, I think, is Flight Boss. He's a young man. And the name of the video I want to comment on, not all of the video, just part of the video, was called Where All Humanity Where Are All Humanity Concepts Came From. Around about 30 minutes and 55 seconds into the video, he made a statement and it floored me. It floored me. And the reason why it floored me is because I've heard that same statement so many times from my children, from their friends, from every young person that I have interacted with. And the statement is uh, goes a little something like this. This is loosely, uh, it's not verbatim. But the flight boss was saying that youngsters, I'll just say generalized youngsters, have grandparents and parents is always praying for them when they go out in the street, praying, praying, praying that, you know, they baby return home to them safely. He was also saying loosely that a, a elder, we'll say an elder, will give a youngster, they baby, some advice before going out into the world. Telling them, hey, youngster, this is what's going to happen if you go out and do X, Y, and Z. The flight boss went on to say, this is not verbatim, this is just loosely, just so you get the concept, that they be right. Who be right? The elders, the parents, the grandparents are right when they say, this is going to happen if you do X, Y, and Z. He said that they curse, they who? The elders, the grandparents, the parents, curse their young, their babies, their children, their young adults by giving that advice, saying, if you do X, Y, and Z, such and such gonna happen. He goes on and says that the only reason that it manifests into reality is because the parent, the older, the grandparent called it into existence. Hmm. He had other little things to add, like, uh, you know, it's somewhat of the uh, parents sin, basically. He didn't say that, but something like this, that the, the youngster, the child, the young adult ends up paying. So I just wanted to respond because he's not the only young person I've heard say that. I've heard my own children say it, just young people I end up running into and having a conversation with. And their main problem is that their uh, guardians, their parents, their grandparents, their elders give them this advice and <clears throat> cause bad things to happen in their lives. And I just need to refute that. And I'm refuting that um, statement or, or that belief because as a mother of five, so you can imagine how many friends they have, whew, and I'm a magnet for kids, whew, and young adults. Whew, okay, I give a lot of advice. And the majority of it is not welcomed when I'm giving it freely. I'm going to go on. I'm going to go on. I ain't going to start fussing. I just want to respond to that statement. Because I know the Eng English language is quite catchy. So the word curse, C-U-R-S-E, is, is harsh and extreme, but I, I believe I understand the concept. But an elder, grandparent, parent, whomever, giving their young, young adults, children, um, the youth uh, advice is 
to help save them from the troubles associated with certain decisions. An example, last year, my two daughters worked on opposite sides of the town, at least 20, 30 miles apart. One car was down, so they had to share one. One day they catch a flat tire. They change out the flat tire for, um, what you call it, a donut. I see this, I don't see anything. Three days later, what do I see? They're still riding on a donut. So I step in as an elder and a mom and say, hey, y'all know that it's a limited amount of time that you can ride on that donut. I said, I, I thought it was maybe about three, four days or something like that. So you need to go ahead and change the tire. They keep running, going back and forth to work and doing whatever else they want to do. Day five, I said, hey. Y'all still riding on this donut. Now you have the money. You need to go get a new tire. The donut is temporary. Guess what? They still didn't do it. I say, the next day I said, hold on, wait a minute. I know that you aren't still riding this donut. And I had heard them have a conversation and you're on the freeway now, five, six days later. Five days later, oh, we going to change it. We going to change it. I see it. You have rolled that donut, and I just heard you say you were on the freeway. I said, let me tell you now. This is day by day five. I said, let me tell you something. And I state the rules surrounding the use of a donut on a car. Hey, donuts are temporary. You only have X, Y, and Z days to use them. You are supposed to replace it as soon as you can. But you definitely shouldn't be on the freeway with it. And then on top of it, you have been riding at least 60 plus miles every day back and forth to work and whatever else you're going to do. I was like, so please stay off the freeway. I said that donut is going to blow off, fall off or do something and you just might get hurt. Day six, they continue. Day seven. I get a phone call at 6 a.m. in the morning, waking me up out my sleep, frantic, screaming, hollering, crying. And why was that? Because that donut that I said was going to blow out on them, if they got on the freeway, blew out. Sent them spiraling on the freeway on a rainy morning. They end up sliding backwards down the freeway with all the morning traffic coming toward them. By the grace of whomever, they survived. But my kids too say that I speak negatively, that I curse them, and that I cause things to come into existence in their life. So it's my fault. Or is it their fault because they did not do what the rules of this world tell them to do. And in that case, it said the donut had a limited time. Don't ride on the freeway. No excessive use. No excessive weight. All those rules set forth by the company, this world, they disobeyed. And they could have paid the ultimate penalty. And the reason why I share that story is because the things that we say to our young is because we've been here just a little bit longer than y'all. And in being here a little bit longer than y'all, y'all young folk, the elders have learned quite a few rules to this realm and how to stay alive. And not only stay alive, stay alive in the best of quality. So when we see you doing something, hear about you doing something or sense something going on, yep, we get that advice that you don't want. We're not calling a curse upon you. What we are doing is letting you know the consequence for your action in this realm. 
We didn't create the rules. Something greater, something more divine set the rules in play. We just learned them and we're trying to pass it on to you. I thank you for listening to me and coming to Can Angels Fly and hearing me refute that statement that the elders curse the young. Bye.